Hi, so today we'll be doing the YouTube made me buy it um, tag. So I don't have a, as much stuff for the Emily Noel made me buy it tag, but I have a few things. Um, first off, this um, a random YouTuber uh, suggested this, but this is awful. Um, I have still swatches from the Emily one, but this has legit shimmer in it. This is horrible. Um, then that's because of uh, Michelle Farn, but I have a, a love for these. It's the EOS Le Bon. These are the best. Um, I want to say chapstick, but they're round. I adore these. Um, you can have them in the stick form, but I. I love them how they are now. Elf eyeliners, um, mostly the gel one and the pen one. Um, these were by a French YouTuber. Um, it's, it's she's called Cynthia, Cynthia Maquillage on YouTube. But she has amazing tutorials that you don't really need explanation. Uh, this is a product that was just hyped, so that's why I bought it, but it's the Maybelline Falsies, but Cynthia, the girl on YouTube, also um, raved about this, but this is a mascara that I'm unfortunately not a big fan of, but um, it's not bad for the price, but if you want to pay this price, there's a Maybelline one by one that is the same price, same packaging, just better mascara. This is something someone used in our tutorial is the Elf um, Tone Correcting Concealer. It was Jackie Jack in her full face Elf. Um, it smells like oranges, so I don't know if it's supposed to wake you up with a concealer or whatever. But I really like these. Uh, but you have to let them set before um, like blending because this is not the best. I, I don't know why I say I like these. I don't I don't really but I I kinda love it but it's not my favorite. Then from stuff that I I bought because of Glam Life Guru um in her long wearing video she wore the exaggerate um undercover eyeshadow primer um this is weird. Uh, it's not a dupe for an arse or whatever, but it's near and it's really like you gotta let it dry, of course. But it's really slick and I don't want to say greasy. It's really just slick and but I did some ex experiment and this only lasts on shimmer eyeshadows. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't work on matte shadows. Maybe I'm just crazy maybe it's true but I feel like it doesn't oh it does have a strong scent it's really cheap for the amount you get um yeah it's okay but for the feel I better like my essence I love stage eye primer and then another thing um thing uh glam life guru uh, Tati made me want to buy and it was the wet and wild petal pusher. Uh, she talked about this a lot and she made a soft romantic tutorial and ouch. So these are the shades. Uh, I prefer this side uh, even if people say it doesn't look great on me but I prefer this side. That's why I didn't include it in the Emily video because Emily didn't really recommend the purple palette. It's a YouTuber that I recommend in these brushes. It's Amy Macedo, uh, she's from Ontario. She recommends spa, res uh, yeah, spa resource brushes. So I bought one. This is the crease blending brush, something like this. I really like it for the crease, not for blending, really. Uh, then, because of Carly Bible, is this how you say her name? Um, the telescopic carbon black, and I, sh I think she's the one who started the whole hype about this. This is how the brush looks like. It's really tiny but it does anything. It's like crazy but sadly the formula is taking after a few weeks or well, I would say like months but I really really like this. Uh, it can clump but your advice now. 
then the Maybelline Eye Studio. I think this was a overall rave also. Like the falsies. Um Yeah. Oh and I don't know if this is a beauty item, but whatever. Eyelash girl alert. I've got so people on YouTube, especially Michelle Farm was like, curl your lashes, curl your lashes, and I did have an eyelash curler, but I did and it did change um, my lashes, not my lashes, but you know what I mean. Um, the Ardell Adhesive Eyelash Adhesive. I don't know who made me buy this, but I remember it's there and someone recommended it. And then from a French YouTuber and kind of, yeah, my shadow, Mac Shadow Combos, the Naked Basics um, palette. This is just like basic shades. This one is shimmer and it's really pretty. Um, but all shades uh, I use, but mostly the white. And it's really, uh, I really like this. Uh, and it's a, it's a trick that I got from Mac Shadow Combos, but. It's to blend your eyeshadows, and I use this or the e.l.f. matte eyeshadow to do it. And really blending eyeshadows um, does matter. So... Yeah, uh, thanks YouTube, <laughs> I guess. Um, there's more products I want to buy, but I just don't have the money, so... Yeah, this is what YouTube made me buy. Uh, I don't have enough thing. I was as much things as for the Emily one, but still, um, I think it's a lot of money just by um, influence. Uh, things I would have bought if I didn't knew. So, oh, and something I forgot. I wanted to. I was supposed to put it in the Emily Noel video, but I think it's an overall hype too. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio Color Tattoo. Uh, mine is one of Glam Life Guru's favorite color. It's inked in pink. But I just bought it because it was on sale because they were limited edition. This is what it looks like. I just don't find eyeshadows to top it off in alone. I feel like it looks... Um, no, I don't like the look. I should have taken a nude color or more better a matte color. But uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.